No matter how football boots have evolved through time, they've always had two things, studs and laces. Some years ago, you'd sometimes hear people describe a football boot as a sock with studs. And although the boot in question might have been super soft, it wasn't ever really the case. Because, you know, socks don't have laces. Neither though has the new Adidas A16 Plus Pure Control, where Adidas spent two years removing the laces to really figure out how they could change football boots. And I think I'm not the only one with feet itching to try them on to see what the fuss is all about. And what better place to do that than to go to Pagen, home to the Danish national team. Now the fuss is understandable, as the Pure Control is both one of Adidas' most technically advanced boots ever, but also one of the most minimalistic and simplest in terms of construction. It's equipped with a full prime knit upper coated with silicone to protect it against the weather, and Adidas have used a compression fit tongue to provide a snug fit and some lockdown. And straight out of the box, the fit is amazing. It's close, snug and completely seamless making you feel you're not really wearing anything at all, actually. And this here compression fit tongue is wrapping your foot, your midfoot especially, extremely closely, making me think of a seatbelt from a car that keeps your foot rather firmly in place without actually feeling restrictive. And that's not something you get every day. And it does feel a bit weird at first. With this free sensation and the fact that there's not as much lockdown as a boot with laces, is not gonna be for everyone. It's slowly winning me over though with the way that it subtly follows the shape of your foot like a loyal dog would follow its owner. Except for the heel part that doesn't sit tightly enough when you bend your foot. And that's a shame because the height of the color is so perfect that if I had a tight fitting heel part, I would actually throw away my slippers and wear these instead. Now size-wise, it's a bit long and relatively wide, so it's gonna fit most people. And for the best, most snug fitting fit, go down half a size. Now on the pitch, the boot moves much better with the foot than I actually thought it would, because I did expect a bit of rollover, but thankfully, it's not really bad, actually. And it feels a lot like the Prime Knit 2 does on the pitch. But because your foot moves a little bit inside the boot when you change direction, it's not the most responsive boot ever made. Having said that, it's definitely something I'd wear in a match and enjoy it. It just takes a bit getting used to. The sole plate on the Pure Control has been completely revamped too, with just 11 conical studs instead of 46. And it handles pretty well actually, with a great maneuverability and a decent amount of grip. And it's a pretty no-nonsense plate that's stable and delivers without stop pressure. So do I miss the extra control studs? Not really. Now, I'm not exactly young anymore and grew up with boots where the existence of laces was never a question. But what does the younger generation used to a constant strive for innovation have to say? Well, I have to say that the fit in these shoes is absolutely incredible. I didn't expect them to be that snug if I'm completely honest with you. The only thing that I could complain about is, as J-Mike said, the heel part. It could be a bit more snug. But the color height is absolutely outstanding, nothing to complain about. But believe me guys, this is the future of football shoes, at least in my opinion. So, the Pure Control clearly cuts it on the biggest stage, but does it work on the smallest? One of the reasons for the laceless design is of course to give the purest touch on the ball, hence the name. And with the completely laceless tongue and the thin layer of knit, Adidas have gone for an almost sock-like, no-nonsense sensation. The touch is actually quite close to what we know from previous Prime Knit models because it's close, precise, but also pretty soft and has this slightly dampened feel of knit. And the awesome thing about the Pure Control is that you get this sock-like sensation no matter where you touch the ball and that's with nothing in the way. And that's actually despite the heel part of the boot feeling a bit big and clumsy at times. But despite that, this is the purest, most uninterrupted touch I've ever had in the boot. And it's really, really 
unique. When you put your laces or um, laceless area through the ball, the boot doesn't feel as flimsy as you might fear a light knitted boot would. And it's got a pretty good backing with this completely clean, uninterrupted strike surface that feels extremely good when you shoot. Which only makes it more annoying that the toe box is a little bit high, which means you have to get more under the ball when you strike. Because if it hadn't been as high, this would be one of my favorite shooting boots ever. So it's rather green, might look a bit like a women's shoe from certain angles, and skeptics might say that it's too bold and too much. And before trying it on, I really couldn't get my head around how this would work either, because you know, no laces and all. Fortunately, it turned out that Adidas are onto something with the A16 Plus Pure Control. And sure, there are some areas to improve on, with the toe box and the heel as the prime suspects. But it doesn't take away from the fact that the boot is something you've never tried before, that it delivers well, and it's actually a lot of fun to play with. And if you want to actually play with a sock with a pair of studs on, this is the answer. For now, at least. Now bring me that OG Predator colorway, Adidas.